Colin here and this is Shine Out Mode and today we're working on the K and we're putting the turbo on. Yes! Hurt my finger. So this turbo is KO3, normally found on the Golf GTIs and the uh, Audis, it's the 150 brake horsepower one, it's not like the KO4s, it's, so it hopefully should work on the 1.6 and hopefully all we'll need to do is change the pressure regulator just to allow a bit more fuel to go through and it should work. So yeah, let's get cracked on with this, this is going to be a good one. i right, root through my uh, scrap pile and see what flanges, bits of pipes, anything we can use. There's loads of bits of the turbo, there's bits of pipe there on that Astra engine. Anything that we can use to make a flange for the exhaust, manifold and any bits and bobs we might need because this is a KA turbo on a budget. There's a template for a flange that I'm going to have to uh, try and fabricate. Just done with a lovely piece of DAS. So I need to go and try and find something that will match up with that now. I found a piece of stub axle in the scrap heap. It's not cast. Um, and that, that's going to save me a lot of messing around because that's nearly the same. So I'll cut that round, cut that out, and then drill them holes and we've got a flange. Booyah! Sam found out is the manifold will fit upside down. Perfect. So we're going to try and put the turbo at the top because the ones that I've seen that have been done only a couple that have been done in the UK I think all theirs are at the bottom so we're going to try and put the turbo at the top there. I think it'd be easier and nicer to plumb in. So we've cut it up now and it fits upside down and I'm going to get a piece of pipe that can sit into there and get it really really hot because it'll have to be really hot and then we can mount the turbo where we need to be and we've got it up over so let's crack on Manifold's done. I have got to uh, blank off and remove that. Obviously, we've used the original manifold. The the pipe that we've run in to start with in the cup. Obviously, I did have to weld to cast, so I made sure it was extremely hot and I weld around it three times. Then I capped it off onto the original weld that was round here. I capped it off with this round cap and then welded all the way around, all the way around there and all the way. Um, around the side which just gives it that extra extra strength 
and obviously because cast isn't majorly strong to weld with but with that all in there that's solid and then we've got the flange to go on the top mount the flange on the top where we need to so I'm absolutely buzzing with that and that's worked really well and that saved a lot of time out fabbing a, uh, a manifold as well so yeah happy days job well done got the turbo on haven't welded on the flange yet Sam's going to just gonna adjust the turbo to see where it lies and then we're probably gonna rob a load of bits off the uh, Ford Focus diesel and try and incorporate all that into it within intercooler if not we've got the Astra intercooler off the uh, Astra van that we'll try and put in as well haven't welded the flange on yet just in case we need to adjust it obviously the coil pack lived here which I'll change to a bracket here and then we can still get um, access to the plugs obviously the air filter used to be here which we don't need now so that gives us a bit of room around here the heater matrix pipes we're going to reroute so they go round the back of the uh, brake servo and bracking because all this is movable you know and we've got plenty of plenty of room on the cables to move things around as well and then we'll probably i'll build a heat shield here and then put the uh, the cowling back on so let's go and rub a load of bits off the uh, focus um, and we'll see where we lie now. So yeah, absolutely uh, loving how the turbo sit the, sits at the top, not at the bottom. It's going to be a lot loads easier to work with. So I'm well happy. So job well done. <laughs> So just with the turbo in place, just so you all know, obviously some of you will pick up wow oh, it's going to be too hot, we've got a lot of things to do obviously regarding heat and we've got a lot of things to tape up and change, we've got to move some pipes as well so just so you, so you know that is something that we've, we've got in mind um, that we're going to be doing running heat shield along here at the front to protect the rock cover even though I know these engines are going to get extremely hot but um, I still want to make it look half half a decent job and like half like we know what we're talking about so yeah let's get cracked on with putting the intercooler on now so this intercooler is off an Astra um, Astra van diesel Astra van and I'm hoping that intercooler can take it off and it'll fit fit in there and the pipes will come out through under here and can get straight into the uh, inlet manifold and bring <coughs> the turbo pipe down here, along here and in. So that's what I'm hoping. It's uh, it's definitely been a testing one, but uh, we're getting there, so we'll just keep cracking on. So yeah, let's get cracked on with this one. in and where everything lies is pretty well right so I'm gonna call it for this one because I think it's pushed on long enough and if you want to know how to put a turbo on a Ford K yourself you'll know not to do it about how much of a bad job it is so we've got the turbo fixed in place now so the turbo's on so we thought right that's on secure we know where need need to be so we thought right we need to know if we can plumb up for the intercooler so the Astra intercooler has gone on absolutely cock on where we need it to be what I'd suggest though is um, take the radiator fully out before you do it because I have marked a few bits of the fins but it, it won't matter for the uh, scrap heap uh, challenge 
KA turbo on a budget sleeper, whatever you want to call it, made out of this and made out of that. So if you want to know more about turbos as well, Alex at Peak Performance Reviews, I'll put a link in the uh, description down below again. You can check out, he goes into more details about the workings of turbos if you don't understand that. So check his channel out and don't forget to subscribe to it. So the next thing for us is oil feed, oil return and plumbing up the intercooler. So I'm happy with progress so far. So I hope we'll see you again in the next one. Don't forget, have a beautiful time.